हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव स्टडीड द डिज़ाइन ऑफ एच वी वाइंडिंग वी हैव सीन व्हाट आर द फॉर्मूलाज रिलेटेड टू द डिज़ाइन ऑफ द एच वी वाइंडिंग इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी हाउ टू डिज़ाइन द एल वी वाइंडिंग ऑफ द ट्रांसफॉर्मर द फर्स्ट स्टेप इन डिज़ाइनिंग ऑफ द एल वी वाइंडिंग इज कैलकुलेशन ऑफ द नंबर ऑफ टर्न्स पर फेज so the formula which is to be used for the calculation of the number of turns per phase is np is equal to hv side voltage divided by voltage per turn where np is equal to number of turns of primary or hv winding we can further modify this equation as np is equal to number of turns of lv winding multiplied by voltage rating of hv winding divided by voltage rating of lv winding we can further modify this equation as np is equal to ns multiplied by vp divided by vs now when we calculate the turns by using this formula we might get the fraction value the value of this fraction should be rounded up because the number of turns are never in the fraction value now let us see what is the second step after calculating the number of turns of the hv winding next step is to calculate the current of the hv winding so the formula for calculation of current can be written as ip is equal to kva multiplied by 10 raised to 3 divided by 3 into hv side voltage rating the unit of the current is ampere we can further modify this equation as ip is equal to kva multiplied by 10 raised to 3 divided by 3 into vp where ip is the current in hv winding now in this case we have also to assume the value of del that is current density so let us assume these values suppose the transformer is the distribution transformer at the ht side then for this type of transformer the value of current density should be between the range of 2 to 2.5 ampere per mm square if the transformer is of the type of power transformer then the value of current density should be 2.4 to 3.5 ampere per mm square now the next step for the design of the hv winding is to determine the conductor size so let us see how to determine the size of the conductor now in case of hv winding following types of conductors can be used so the three types of conductors which are used in the hv winding are cylindrical type crossover type and continuous disc type before selection of the conductor the selection of winding is very important and depending upon the type of winding which is used for the hv side the conductor can be selected now these conductors can be again of two types now depending upon the type of the winding the conductor sections can be of two types first is circular and second is rectangular the circular type of section of the conductor is used for the small and medium transformers whereas the rectangular type of conductor section is used for the large transformers now suppose we are using the circular transformer then again we have to find the value of now suppose after selection of the winding we have selected the conductor section as the circular type then again we have to find the value of current density so the value of current density can be calculated as the new value or the actual value of current density is equal to hv side phase current divided by modified area of the conductor this equation can again be modified as del is equal to ip divided by modified area of conductor this value of the current density should be used for the further calculations now suppose we have selected the rectangular section then we can write now if the selected conductor section is of rectangular type then it is assumed that the height of the winding should be equal to 70% of the height of the window hence we can write the equation for the height of the winding as h is equal to 0.7 multiplied by hw where h is equal to height of the winding and hw is equal to height of the window now the axial length of the conductor can be calculated as axial length is equal to hw divided by number of coils hence the number of turn per coil can be written as
therefore number of turns per coil axially is equal to axial length of one coil divided by diameter of insulated conductor hence rearranging this formula we can find axial length of one coil as Therefore, axial length of one coil is equal to number of turns per coil axially divided by diameter of insulated conductor. Now, let us consider there are 16 coils. Hence, we can write Therefore, axial length of 16 coils is equal to 16 multiplied by axial length of each coil. Now, the next step is to calculate the value of net radial length. Now, if we assume that there is an insulation of 30 mm, then the total insulation of 30 plus 30 that is 60 mm should be added at both the sides. Hence the formula can be written as net radial length is given by formula net radial length is equal to outside diameter of HV winding net radial length is equal to outside diameter of LV winding plus depth of the oil duct between HV and LV and HV insulating cylinder plus outside diameter of HV winding. Hence, by following all these steps, we can design the HV winding of the transformer. Thank you friends for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and do subscribe our channel Ikeda. Thank you.